Hi, I'm Phileas Stain and I'm the Safari expert and I thought in this video I'll quickly show you how to sharpen your wildlife photographs in Adobe Lightroom Classic. It really is very simple but before I show you how to do it please consider subscribing to the channel and always make sure to check out the description below for any important links and information. Right, let's head over into Lightroom. Now as you can see I've got two photographs here both of leopards and I'm just going to click on the first one and then on the letter D to go to the develop module. Now I have done some basic editing just to get the exposure right but the one thing that I haven't done is sharpen the photograph and if I click on it and zoom in 100% you'll see that it's a little bit soft and we can go and click I to see the information to see what my settings were and as you can see my shutter speed was a little bit slow at a 200th of a second especially considering that I photographed it with a 500 millimeter prime and perhaps that's the reason why it's a little bit soft. Now the way that we sharpen this photograph is to head over to the detail panel and if you open that the only four sliders that you need to concern yourself with are these ones under sharpening. Now in this case my sharpening amount is zero so that means no sharpening has taken place at all but for some of you there might be a small amount of sharpening maybe around 10 or even more as you import the photograph but your radius and detail value should be at 1 and 25 by default and your masking should be on zero. Now the radius and detail amounts of 1 and 25 you're going to leave it like that. It's the sharpening amount and the masking value that we're going to change. Let's just quickly zoom in again to show you the effect of the sharpening a little bit better. So look what happens as I increase the sharpening amount. Keep a close eye on the photograph and just see how it gets sharper as I increase that value. And if I go all the way, you can see how the photograph gets very pixelated. Now we really don't want to take it that far. So typically I sharpen to about halfway on the amount, which is round about 75. In fact, I never guess a value between 0 and 75. I always hit straight to 75 right from the start. Now what we don't want to do is to make this background sharper because we love that soft effect that we've created with the shallow depth of field. And this is where the masking comes into play. So I'm just going to zoom out again and now we're going to increase this masking value. And that essentially tells Lightroom to only sharpen the subject and not the background. So before we increase the value, make sure to hold down the Alt key if you're using a PC and the Option key if you're using a Mac. Now with that Alt key or Option key held down, simply click on the masking slider button and you'll see that the screen goes white. Now look what happens as I increase the masking value. The background starts going black, but our subject stays white. Now all you have to remember is that 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 stays white will be sharpened and what goes black won't be sharpened. So you can see in this case around about 58 is the ideal value to sharpen our leopard and that just means that the leopard's going to be a little bit sharper but not the background and you can clearly see that when I zoom in look how nice and sharp it is now around this leopard's eye but the background is still nice and soft. Let's go back to our other example. So I'm just going to click on the second photograph and then on D again for the develop. And what you'll see here is that the photograph is slightly more cluttered. So in this case, our masking is going to look a little bit different. So again, if I go to the detail panel, I'm immediately going to go and sharpen all the way to 75. But look what happens when I now hold down the Alt or Option key and I increase the masking value. Not only the subject, but also some of the environment around it stays white. So what essentially happens is Lightroom is looking for things that are in focus. So if I just lift my finger from the Alt or Option key, you'll see that the things that go white are the things that are in focus. And that's why this is such a wonderful tool, because we want the things that are in focus to be sharpened, and we don't want that blurry background or foreground in some cases to become pixelated. So to summarize, when you're sharpening your photograph, open it in the develop module, click on the detail panel, and then increase your sharpening amount to round about 75, then hold down the Alt or Option key and increase the masking value until your subject is white and the background is black. 
It really is that simple to sharpen your wildlife photographs. And if you enjoyed this short tutorial, I've actually got two online courses that you might enjoy as well. The first is called Adobe Lightroom Classic Beginner Level. And it's basically Lightroom for beginners. And it takes you all the way from importing your photographs to sorting it and creating new folders, choosing your favorites, and then editing them and exporting them as well. The second course is called Wildlife Photography for Beginners and Amateurs, and that takes you through the six most important aspects of wildlife photography, namely equipment, settings, light, composition, creativity, and animal behavior. I've added links to both courses in the description below if you'd like to enroll. Thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and check out some of my other videos as well.